Hi, I'm Andrea, and welcome back to Geeky Girls Journal. In today's video, we are going to talk about tips to help you maintain or to improve your grades during virtual learning. If you stick around until the end of the video, we're going to give you some bonus tips to help you improve your grades. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment below and to subscribe to our channel. Tip number one is to show up to class on time. Yes, this is the most obvious tip. You do not want to roll out of bed two minutes before your class time starts. If you are not a natural early riser, you want to give yourself plenty of time to get going and to get your day started. Give yourself some extra time, start your morning routine, and don't forget to log in to school so that you can be marked present. Tip number two is to be attentive. Try to focus on class and forget the other distractions that may be happening in your household. Try to find a quiet place to work and listen to your teacher or the instructor. Tip number three is ask questions. Never, ever, ever be afraid to ask questions. This is your grade we're talking about. If you don't understand what the teacher is saying, ask questions. Ask the teacher for clarification and ask questions until you fully understand the material and what the teacher wants you to do. If you cannot raise your hand virtually and ask questions during the lesson, some of you have the chat feature on the side of your learning platform and you can ask the question there. Sometimes your classmates may answer the question for you to help you to have a better understanding and sometimes your teacher is able to get right to the question and answer it. If for some reason the question is not answered during the learning session, email the teacher after class so that you can ask her the question then. Tip number four is do your assignments after class. Make time every day to complete your assignments. If you have assignments or projects that are not due right away, get started with the assignment early so that you're not rushed to complete the assignment at the last minute and you can ask for help or clarification. Tip five is use your resources. If you are having difficulty with anything, be sure to reach out to your teacher. Ask your teacher to further explain the assignments and ask questions until you fully understand the material. Some of you have older siblings that can help you with your work. Ask them for help. Ask your parents. Your parents may not have had the same exact assignment that you have or that your teacher has assigned to you, but parents know how to use resources. Parents can Google things. Parents can go to the library. Parents can direct you to resources that you might not have thought about. Parents can also email or call the teacher to ask for clarification. So if you don't understand your work, be sure to ask for help. If you've ever had to ask a sibling, a cousin, aunt, uncle, teacher, or a parent for additional help, raise your hand. Use that raise your hand emoji and put it in the chat section and put it in the comment section. Or you can just say, I've had to have uh, help and tell us what you've had to have help with. Tip number six is to study. If you have an upcoming test, don't wait until the last minute to glance over the information. Look at the material as soon as you hear of the test and then you can start to prepare. What are some of the things that you don't understand? Again, ask for help. Ask your teachers to give you clarification on the specific topic at hand. Ask questions so that you can make sure you understand the material before the test. Tip number seven is get enough rest. Make sure that you are getting a proper amount of rest each night so that you can wake up feeling refreshed and that you can focus in class. Because you stayed to the end of this video, we want to give you a bonus tip. 
How many of you like bonus tips? Tell us in the comment section. Okay, here it is. The bonus tip is to ask for extra credit. Ask for ex extra credit. Have you ever asked the teacher for extra credit? If you have, make sure you tell us in the comment section. So you want to ask for extra credit. You want to ask for extra credit because number one, the extra credit is only going to increase your level of knowledge in that specific area. If the teacher says to do a, um, a project and you'll get 10 extra points for doing a project on the Himba tribe in Africa, then now you have those extra credit points to boost your grade. The second thing that extra credit will do for you is to help increase your grade because you're going to get extra points for doing that extra credit assignment. So you see, doing extra credit will only benefit you. So don't forget to ask for it. If the teacher doesn't offer it, that doesn't matter. Be sure to ask anyway. You always want to do something to go over and beyond. You want to get those extra points to help to boost your grade. If you've ever asked for extra credit, make sure you tell us in the comment section. Okay, that's all we have for today. Hopefully these tips will help you to improve those grades and to get those straight A's, B's, whatever those grades are that you're looking for. So hopefully these tips will help you. Um, if you have anything in addition that you have done to increase your grades during virtual learning, please share them in the comments section. If you have a tip that you would like to add to the tips that we've given, be sure to uh, drop those comments in the comments section. Until then, we'll see you the next time. This is Andrea from Geeky Girls Journal.